Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodads.com where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. This time, we share a Google document via email. Well, first of all, you cannot just simply share the Google Doc via email. At first, you need to set up permissions for how a person is allowed to work with the document. Like editing or just viewing it. And also, if you want the document to be accessible publicly or with only a certain group of people in the limited access mode. And let's get to it. First of all, we go to the sharing menu. I prefer doing that from the document itself, but you can also do that from the Google Drive. From the document, we go to the top right corner and press the blue share button. Here's the sharing menu. If you don't have such a button, you may have minimized the toolbar. And to unfold it, you need to find such an arrow icon here on the right and click it. And then go to the sharing menu. You will see that you are designated as its owner. Only you have access to the doc since initially it is created in a private mode. From here, you have two menus for sharing and we need the top one, standing for sharing a document with a limited group of people by entering their emails. Now, we need an email of the person that you want to share the document with. Let me enter one. My personal one. And here, Google shows that the user has a Google account. And I press on the suggested account. There, the person was added. Either way, if the person doesn't have a Google account, won't suggest adding him like this. And it actually won't be different from a public sharing mode where the document is accessible to anyone with the link. And here, we want the document to stay in the restricted mode. And that means that a person with non-Google email will have to create a record in Google system anyway. But yet, it doesn't require the email to be Google's Gmail. Yeah, you can kind of create a Google account without a Google email, but with any other one. Actually, thanks to Google for such a feature. Now, we're given a specific permission to a user. Drag the cursor to the button next to the typing field and press it. Now, you can assign a specific role to every single user. The editor mode, where the person will have a complete access to edit the document. The viewer mode, where a person can only view the document and download the document, but not change anything in it and a commenter mode that does not allow the person to edit the document as well, but allows him to write and post comments to certain parts of the document. Now I'm leaving myself as an editor. And such an add-in method is applied to every next user. Then, with this checkbox, you select whether you want to notify the invited people. That will open a message field, where you can enter an invitation message that will go to everyone's above-mentioned email addresses. And I press send to notify the added users. There we go. And what's nice about this sharing method is that the document remains in restricted access mode, but can be accessed by only a certain users chosen by you. And by the way, we can go to the advanced sharing settings by pressing this cog icon and modify such settings for editors and viewers. And finally, to allow the public access to the document, we go back to the selection of sharing methods. Click on the button window, pressing on Restricted, and selecting anyone with the link. Now here on the right, we have the same access permission setup, but here they are applied to everyone with the link and not just specific users, making it more widely available. Drag the cursor to the button with a viewer text on it, press it, and the same works here, only a viewing mode, commenter mode or full editing mode, but this time with no specific users. Select the option you need, copy the link and share it with people that you work with on this document, via attaching the link to email, in any messenger or on social networks. Hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on thegoodocs.com following the link below the video.
like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.